plan everyone I decided to put off the moon Gundam and build this because I wanted to build one of these and I have for a while I have a Goku and I have a um God, I can't remember his name the really evil one it'll come to me in a little bit but I have a couple of different model kits of these and let's see what they look like so let's open this box and it says build the ultimate warrior right here muscle build up system so we will take a look and see what's going on nice silver hair right when you open it i don't know if i really like the look of the stickers though i am not a sticker fan never have been okay getting some glasses so i can see because i'm blind this probably won't be too bad to build i don't know about the stickers the silver hair yes i get it if you watch the anime you get the silver hair the muscly things we'll see what that looks like probably the eyes right here but I don't see stickers for the eyes so I'm not sure what that is there's the clothing and you do have the shirt here's legs I mean not legs uh, shoes yeah shoes and the waist parts and hopefully it comes with a stand because it looks like it might come with a stand but probably not that's probably just pieces of effect parts more arms and shoulders it doesn't look like this is much to put together probably more like a star wars stormtrooper than anything taking a look at the directions nope but action bases will probably work Let's see if we can find the first of it sound effects have to be on the directions you know crack vin bonk wonk zoosh you can give it two different expressions you can have a mouth I never saw the eyes, so I'm not sure where the eyes are. I didn't see stickers for the eyes. So it looks like, it, again, it won't be too hard to put together. It doesn't look that way at all. And I don't know how silly it's going to look. That worries me a little bit. Oh, you get a Kame, a Kame, 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 Meha. You might actually have a stand. Okay? You might actually have a stand. We'll go back and look through it again in a minute. And first thing you put together is the head. And I don't see eyes. It's warning you about cutting parts off, fitting parts together. Typical directions here. You have a sprue map. Those white parts were eye parts, but I don't see any stickers or anything for the eyes. So I'm going to have to go back through there again and take a look. They might have molded the eyes together. And chest goes together. I don't see the uniform going on the outside of the chest. And then you build the arms. Okay. And it looks pretty straightforward. You here in the back. You're putting the legs together. And the body goes together. And hand, it's got different hands. And it shows the effect parts. It comes with the uniform though. The top part of the uniform. So it might be optional to put that on. There's our effect parts again. I don't see the base for the stand. Arms. Body parts. Oh, the stand is there. It does have a stand part right there. And we'll see what that's for when we get to it. And again, there's the top part of the tunic. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Directions don't call for it. I don't see completed eyes anywhere. No stickers for the eyes nothing so I guess I'll have to build it and find out what's going on with the eyes I guess this is what I'm gonna to have to do I see the head here's the face here stickers in the there's the face there so there's parts that go behind there looks like these are the parts that go behind there but I don't see eyes clear-cut eyes again we have stickers here the stickers are labeled but there's no eyes for the stickers I see. Here's where the eyes are. So the eyes are silvered out. Well, if we look at the box top, maybe we can see it. Where'd I put the box top? Yeah, so they're probably doing the eyes somehow with different molded pieces going together in different order. So we will look and see. Okay. Just got to put it together and find out what's going on. So I'm going to go get at it. I'm going to go work on this for a little bit tonight before I go to sleep. And I'll come back and report on it while I'm building and let you all know. 
Hello everyone. When I started working on this, I didn't wait. I didn't work on uh, the Moon Gundam. This took over my attention span. And there were no stickers for eyes, which was surprising to me. Those are all colored molded pieces, and I think they look pretty good. I think he actually looks pretty good, and he was pretty fun to put together so far. All I have left are the legs and the special boom effects. You know, where it goes Vin, Zoom, Wonk, Bonk. And, you know, whoa, hand comes right off. Didn't expect that. All the parts fit together really tight. Most of the seam lines, well, you know, it is a model kit, so there are going to be places where there's going to be seam lines. But most of them aren't too bad. The worst are in the hair. And you can see they're in the hair, and there's little hands in here because we're making a little hands model kit in a minute. But anyhow, I like this so far. I'll come back and do a final review. Just wanted to do an intermediate spot to show you. It's going well. I think that's about an hour and a half, two hours worth of work. He looks good. is spiky. Yes, and silver. Alright, I have Sun Goku Ultra Instinct version done. I know this is pretty tied up on the box, but he's done. He's right there. We're going to talk about it. You get two faces, and changing the faces out is pretty simple. And I might show you that. You get two pairs of hands. Okay, you also get a special power-up effect and a bean blast, okay, for his Kamehameha wave. No, Miri. Okay, so he's really poseable, but when you start posing him, you start seeing the joints on him. Second, we've already talked about this midterm. Yeah, and again, he's real poseable. You can pose his arms. Oops, see? This is what I don't like about them. The joints pop. And the hands. That's the second thing I really don't like about Goku. Is the hands just pop off at will. Constantly. Now my experience is what you, some people get aren't always the same. Okay? So if I have the hands popping off, you may not. Yeah, you can tell right now I'm trying to repose him. Because I want him to pose over with... The beam going outwards, and to do that, <laughs> okay, the scene EV enough. He, his hands have to be like this now. Come on, Goku. Let's let's not misbehave. I'm trying to do one of his poses, where he has this. Aha, Goku. I've got him in a pretty weird stance, so that's why he keeps falling on me. But the stance, the pose should be something like this where the beam is leaving. Now, the stand I thought he came with is just for the beam blast. And of course, we're not on camera. We're off camera. And Miri's playing with one of the pew pews for a... Okay, she's playing with one of the pew pews for Char Zaku. But anyhow, you can pose him like that. He's extremely poseable. The big thing you have to worry about are the hands popping off. Okay, like I said, you touch them on... Miri, stop. You're not supposed to take over the camera. Okay, you can be in the background back here, but not, not in the camera. Like I said, the hands come off. The other thing I really didn't like are the stickers. There are stickers bordering the shoes and on the legs down here. They didn't quite line up correctly in places. Like you can see a gap in this sticker right here. Okay. And there are some gaps up in here. It would have been better to paint. Now, the good thing is these are raised ridges, so they actually would be really easy to paint if you're patient and have the right color. See, look at those hands. They just pop right off. You can get it to where the joints are fairly transparent and don't show too much. It takes a little bit of patience moving it around that way, but you can get him that way. Uh, to change the face isn't very hard. We get the face. And I didn't expect to have the audience we have right now. We got a now the other right hands now. actually stay fairly well. You also get an adapter so you can put Goku on an action base. Which I do have an action base right here. And she's putting the hands back on him. I got the secondary face. His head comes off pretty easily. Wow. And then you pop the front part of his hair wow. off. And then the face comes off. And then you can change the new face in. Wow. And I don't like this face. That's why it wasn't on him. Because this face is not Goku to me. 
especially in the Ultra Instinct mode where he's really not thinking too much, although I know this face did show up in the anime. Okay, I like the other face better. And the other hand you get her, of course, fist, because he's a fighter. Alright, so we've seen everything you get. You get a stand for this. Now, one thing about this, these parts only fit in one way, and I mean one way. There's two of them that can almost interchange, but they don't. So be really careful, because I almost broke those two parts. Also, you have to line up the hole in the bottom of this thing with a very precise gap in this. This can rotate. If I pull the stand out, this can rotate on there. You can take it off and rotate it and put it back on. But there's only one gap big enough for this stand to fit in. So be careful of that as well. But outside this, this was really an enjoyable kit to put together. Kind of like F91 over here that Miri is playing with. It was really enjoyable as well. Not much to worry about outside that. Okay, Miri. Not much to worry about outside that. The other thing is, if you look, it's really hard to find any nub marks on here. It's not styrene precisely, it's a different kind of plastic. And because of that, the nub marks, even on the hair, don't show so much. Whatever plastic this is, the nub marks don't show too much. The six-year-old kits, the kits for six plus, are made out of the same material, and those just tear right off the sprue. So, again, this doesn't have too many nub marks. And the only real complaint is the stickers. All right. I hope you all enjoyed Goku. I would buy this again. In fact, I'm going to replace my Dragon Ball collection with all of these really soon because they're fun to build. All right, have a good one. Yeah.